As New York State faces its greatest test, the governor has warned that hospitals may run out of ventilators within six days, long before the peak is expected. The only chance they have is to do severe social distancing. One New York specialist, Dr. Mangala Narasimhan, told News at 10 she is confronting the greatest crisis of her lifetime. And we have ICUs full of super sick patients that are paralyzed and on ventilators. Um, and it's a unique disease because it doesn't really get better quickly. It takes a long time to get better. So the numbers keep accumulating and accumulating. But what worries her most is that if New York is facing a disaster of this dimension, how on earth will some of the poorest countries in the world cope? I, I think they're, they don't stand a chance against this thing, um, that they will crumble and many people will die. Shooters ready, locked, loaded, safety's on. There is only one group of Americans who have emerged feeling vindicated. We're going to go stagger column formation. The private militias. This group in rural Pennsylvania told us they are gearing up for an impending breakdown of law and order in the aftermath of the pandemic. I know from doing my research on this virus, if it becomes something to where there is a, um, a collapse in society, I know I have the knowledge to where I can escape to a place like this and be able to self-sufficient, live off the land and not have a problem with it. The militias will be your last line of defense against, say, roving gangs that decide to take advantage of the situation. They train together for whatever lies ahead, but take comfort in their weaponry, however ineffective it may be against a virus. For most regular Americans, the crisis is more immediate. With much of the country now locked down and most Americans staying indoors, the U.S. economy is on the brink of a Great Depression-scale crash. Ten million Americans have lost jobs. No surprise when whole sectors of the economy have been paralyzed. It is not just the scale of the shutdown here that is so devastating for business, but the uncertainty. The president has given multiple shifting dates for when he expects America to reopen, and his own experts acknowledge it is simply impossible to know. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.